It's week three of the NFL, and we'll see Robert Spillane, who really led his defense last week with a 10-tackle game. It's the Raiders and the Chiefs, and it's all up next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Today it's week three and we've got a good one in store as it will be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. It's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. On the other side of the field for the visiting... So in the early going, this will be the first drive of the game for this offense. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A check on Jacobs from a week ago. 14 carries, 59 yards, and a touchdown. Just an all right day from him last week. He really didn't break out for the huge yardage he had hoped going in. I talked with him before the game, though, and he knows this is a new... Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And they're able to 
to get this one across the 35. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. I know that rookie quarterbacks have to earn veteran receivers' trust. Maybe we saw that on that play with that type of effort, huh? Yeah, helping out the rook with a heck of a catch. Loose inside the 30. Inside the 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Josh Jacobs. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Raiders are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan. A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football. Options here on fourth and a yard. It would be a long field goal try. Would they consider going for it? Let's jump in and find out. And try to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short. And he is short. He needs... A red zone alert as we get you back into the action. This offense coming up on a second down and three to go. On second down, Jacobs. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 93 yards on the ground here for Jacobs, and this is a first down. Back to throw. Edwards, flush to his right. Touchdown, Raiders! Devontae Adams, his second touchdown on the season, and the Raiders have taken the lead. It's never fun for a defense to run on the field knowing that they're having to defend a short field. Just the idea of trying to limit an offense in that position, daunting for a defense. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. It gets it right back to Mayer. Yeah. This offense looking for six points. They are in the red zone as we'll get back into it here. First and ten at the 11. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Good hang on third down. The right way to set him down started. They need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Back to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. Take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Raiders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulled... quarter tie game this defense looking for a huge third down stop to throw is Edwards to throw on third down looking left side and he's got a man that's Jacobs he's gonna go out of bounds but he takes this one down just shy of the 20 
It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. Here's Edwards. Off play action. Touchdown! Jacoby Myers. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You're talking about those punches and counter punches. I also think... Tight game here, but this offense does have the lead. Decent amount of time on the clock, and the defense has all three timeouts. So can the offense manage things and melt this clock away? It's time to find out. And a nice job there, skipping away from the one tackle, and ends up getting five yards out of that. Second down. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. They'll run right here with Jacobs. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's going to have a Raider first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script here. Jacobs is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. They'll run it with Jacobs. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They'll run with Jacobs. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared, but executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for the Raiders, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Meanwhile, for Kansas City, they too will exit with a 2-1 and one record. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road.
So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And this one features Josh Jacobs. He had a nice effort a week ago with a pair of touchdowns. It's the Raiders and the Saints coming up next. It is always a celebration here in the city of New Orleans. And we are just outside of the French Quarter at the Superdome. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And Charles, the name of the game last time, efficiency. Their very first snap, they connected for a quick touchdown. They get more value than just the points from that series as well. Only needing one play. It keeps the entire offense rested up. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and one. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Off the bootleg. Edwards. He'll buy some time right. That one into the hands of Adams downfield. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now an injury timeout, and that is Devontae Adams who is in some discomfort following that play. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now a give to Jacobs running right, and he'll take this one down to about the 40. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. The Raiders at 2-1 and one now to start the campaign, and they move back above 500 with a victory last week. And you look at their start, a win, a loss, then a win. This might be something we see from them a lot this year because when they're at their best, they can play with anybody. But bringing their best every week, that's been a challenge thus far. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted 
But it winds up falling incomplete. And you look at the Saints' defense. They were terrific a week ago in the win over the Lions. And I'm eager to see the game plan in trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try to run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. A solid drive here has this offense in really good position. Can they finish the drive off? Let's find out. It's first and 10 inside the red zone. Jacob's going to try the middle, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A gain of three, second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time, but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature. Touchdown, Raiders! Jacoby Myers, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders are once again back in front. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They This offense has been clicking pretty good here in the first half. They've got the lead. They're looking for more with the ball in the red zone. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 127 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Here's Jacobs. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Second and goal from the six this time. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. Edwards now going to throw on third and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great effort there. His third touchdown of the game, number 11 on the year. And the Raiders had six to their lead. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. A lot of points put on the board so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. That is caught. Touchdown. Jacoby Myers with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. The 
this offense has been lighting the scoreboard up. Now the question, can they add to their lead? We drop you in a red zone situation in the second half. Touchdown, Raiders! Devontae Adams with career touchdown number 109. That ties him with Barry Sanders on the all-time NFL list. And the Raiders are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Las Vegas, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for New Orleans, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next... Thank you.